hoping in a moment to get a live link up with Tim Peake on um, the International Space Station. The technology might take a little while for it to work. So just while you're waiting, can you think in your head that if you get to ask Tim Peake a question in a moment, what are you going to ask him? So while we're waiting, could you think of your question? And we think, oh, okay, here's our live link. transparent then the light went through the material and you couldn't really see much of a shadow and if it was translucent like like the pink cellophane that we used it the shadow puppet looked pink and if we used an opaque material it was a really strong shadow because no light could go through the opaque material we also saw that if we put the shadow um, closer to the light source then it would be a bigger shadow and then if we were further away it would be a smaller shadow. So we looked at the different sizes as well. And the one were fantastic at experimenting. Um, so we've got some winners. Our best scientists. The best scientists. We've got in Miss Khan's class. We chose her because when we had our science fair, she was really good at explaining to the year twos all the science. So she understood it but she also could teach others and explain to others why what had happened. So she's a fantastic scientist. Brilliant. You've got your prize. You can do some more light and shadow work at home. Sometimes I think those are the professors at the front get a prize. And who is the other person? And we've also got we've also a fantastic scientist. Oh, she oh. learns about the 
science, and also she produced, she recorded what she learned in this lovely poster, which was really creative and really informative as well. I think we could tweet a picture of her poster later on. Yes. Have a good look good at idea, her. and then the whole world can see it. <laughs> lovely, lovely. into things. So we were using watercolour paint to paint paper and we knew that it absorbed into the paper because it left the colour on the paper. So we tried to stop and repel the water from absorbing. So we used different materials. We had soap, a bar of soap, a candle, so wax from a candle, and messy margarine. And we drew our, some patterns on our paper and then we, with those materials and then we tried to paint over them. And we were left with our shape, we could see our shape, and there was no paint on the paper. So some materials look better than which one was the best you to do, did we think? So we just did lots of experimenting. And my certificate, again, when he was a teacher, science teacher yesterday, teaching year one, he was very good at explaining and taking his time to teach all the words on a city work. I've also got a certificate for in my class um, for just being really involved in everything and really enjoying it and participating in all the discussions in Science Week. And he also had an amazing matchbox, but he wasn't the winner, but his was amazing too. So there you go. Okay, so hold here, we're going to get on your mate comes down, we have a little, when you're fellow colleague professor comes down. We had a bottle, a clear bottle, and we poured in some oil, cooking oil. Then we poured in some water on top, and the water went through the oil to the bottom. And whichever way we turned the bottle, the oil always was on top and the water on the bottom. So we sat the bottle there, water, oil. And we dripped in some food dye and it went down, down, through the oil, into the water and coloured the water. Then we took a tablet, a fizzy tablet, and when it hits water it lets off a gas. So we dropped in the bottle, it sank down, down, through the oil, hit the water. Gave off gas and the bubbles went up and they carried the colour up with it. So the colour went up through the oil, <coughs> the bubbles burst at the surface and the colour went down, down to the water again. You. Now you know there were lots of things and it was really good because it followed up what we've been doing. We've been learning about forces and one of the forces we've been learning about is gravity. And a lot of this is to do with gravity. Heaviest object goes to the bottom, and the lightest thing, like the gas bubble or the oil, goes to the top. Now, there's one person who, in my class particularly, who impressed us with his sort of ability to use what we'd learned about gravity and explain what was going on. And that. Was... Up you go. Go on. Right. Okay. Right. Well done. Sorry. And the other. Amazing, the children were very amazed at how we, what happens. And then we looked at what happens 
is if we add bicarbonate soda to water. Then we thought about what happened if we added some hot water. And then we said, what if we change the liquid to vinegar? And what would happen then? My <laughs> and it's, it's very interesting. So we're really looking forward to showing you three this afternoon, telling them all about it and what happens, explaining it. Um, in terms of the best scientists, it's really hard. But a lot of really good observations were made by both the year four classes. Some really good explanations in their books about what was happening. Two people stood out. So the first one stood out um, from Miss Holmes class. Really good um, thinking. He listens to what everyone says. He makes very good observations. He makes links between the areas of science. This is absolutely brilliant. Um, from Ms. Williams' class, likewise, really good thinking, listening to others, making connections, and that's why we really like seeing them making connections with that learning they've had from other times than years. Really good. what was going to happen if we dropped them. 
and obviously they broke. But we had some other eggs that we soaked in vinegar over the whole weekend. And vinegar's got something called acid in it, which had made the eggs change in some way. What happened to them, Faraz? Uh, well, but they went really rubbery and bouncy, didn't they? So we dropped those eggs as well. And when I took them from a mum enough point, we realised that they didn't break, they, they actually bounced. So we were learning about how things cause them to change. Now, one young man who gave what it says on this certificate is an outstanding contribution of ideas. That means he was sharing his knowledge with all the rest of the class.